Speaking of the Temple Mount, for those who don't know, tonight is said to be the saddest day in the Jewish religion. Tisha B'Av, and, and it commemorates major calamities that have befallen the Jewish people, like the destruction of the first and second temples, for example. Here in the studio to tell us more is Rabbi Ronan Neuwirth, the president of the Ve'ahavta Tel Aviv Jewish Experience. Thank you so much for coming in uh, and joining us today on this Thank day. You. Uh, so I hope that we're not cutting too much into into your fast later. It is sorry. Uh, you're preparing, you know, preparing nicely. So tell me, what are the calamities? What are these? What are these things that we are so sad about today? So obviously, as you mentioned, the two destructions of the the temples. But the first uh, first catastrophe that took place on that day was the sin of the spies, uh, which was the uh, uh, unwillingness of the people to enter the land of Israel, and therefore they had to be in the desert for 40 years, and the entire generation uh, did not marry to enter the land of Israel. So, so, traveling, so traveling for 40 years in the desert was a punishment? Yeah, it was a punishment for the sin of the spies, which took place on Tisha B'Av. That's the first okay. event that took place on Tisha B'Av, uh, which, again, I think it symbolizes um, all the destructions are in a, the wrong choices that we made made as a nation. Uh, okay. Many times God has given us the, the opportunity, the chance, uh, but we we missed out. That's what happened in the desert, and that's what happened when he, when we had the two temples, which are uh, each destruction. It's not just a destruction of the religious place; it's a destruction. It's it's the beginning of the exile. The first. Well, I mean, so okay. So do, all, do the calamities have a theme, or it's just like really terrible things that happen to the Jewish people? The most terrible things. The most also, terrible. So yeah. it's not. It's not like you know, because in, in the first one, the the spies who came back, and you're saying it, that was a punishment that we had to wander the desert for forty years. We couldn't enter the land. Of and Israel. the entire generation. Uh, so were the first two temples punishments as well? Uh, there were punishments on the, the sins of the people, uh, based on. Uh, uh, basically, uh, according to our sages, the first temple was destroyed because of the war scenes of adultery, of bloodshed, of killing each other, uh, idol worshipping. The second one, however, and that's, by the way, the biggest destruction for 2,000 years, uh, was destroyed because of baseless, baseless hatred, because Jews hated it, uh, each other, fought, fought against each other, did not know how to respect. People were very, in that sense, observant in that time, but uh, the discourse was so... Mm hateful and so violent and that's that's a destruction unfortunately uh, if you're speaking about the relevancy of uh, mourning in our times um, I, I think we're mourning not just over the temple but most importantly because of the reasons that led to the destruction for 2000 years and unfortunately we are still repeating the very same mistakes uh, the uh, the hatred, the violent discourse that we have in Israeli society today, the inability to listen, to respect, even to respectfully disagree. Uh, we don't have to agree, but there has to be a different discourse, and yeah, I think this is something we, we need. Respect. Well, yeah. Much more respect. We don't have to, to agree, but we need to listen. And this is something, especially today, uh, just before entering Tisha B'Av, I think all of us, it's not a religious thing. It's. Uh, I wrote on my Facebook page that every, I think everybody should fast, not as a religious uh, uh, practice, but as a, an awakening call. And let's not repeat the same mistake. Let's love each other. Let's listen. We can disagree. We have different opinions. It's fine. But we can work together as one nation, one people. That's a beautiful thought, and I couldn't agree more. Um, but speaking of the fast, so what, what are the other ways that we are supposed to commemorate? How do we observe this holiday? Holiday, if you could call it a holiday. Uh, yeah. by, by the way, uh, it's interesting because it has an aspect of holy day. Uh, right. It's called Moed. Moed is like also a holy day uh, mm -hmm. in the, the in the Eicha and in, in Megillah. It says Karalai uh, Moed There's an aspect of uh, mm -hmm. kind of holy day because uh, it's a sad day, but when we are able to meet, uh, you know, the essence of life, to uh, stop, for instance, uh, for stop for a second. Uh, you know, everything, the, the mundane, and be able to reconnect to our, to our it's like, soul. It's like a day of reflection, exactly. more than it is a day of sadness, possibly. It's, it's, it's sadness it's, but that helps you to look right. inside, to remember what are the, the you know, th the mistakes right. that we did in the past, that we do in the present, and uh, to fight against, uh, be, just being, uh, stop being apathetic. Just, and just while, so, and then in the last few moments, unfortunately, we have to wrap this up, but in the last few moments, other than the fast, we have to we have to do what? Yeah. So uh, basically, we are not eating and not no drinking. Uh, it's like Yom Kippur. Uh, uh, the other uh, prohibitions are 
uh, not to wash ourselves, not to wear leather shoes. Uh, uh, there are other, um, uh, other customs right. of not, not greeting with uh, shalom until noon uh, tomorrow time. Uh, we do not sit on chairs. That, there's many, many so morning, yeah, but, but again, all these customs are supposed to serve as an awakening call to uh, remind us of the mistakes of the past and to uh, help us mm -hmm. to improve our ways and be, right. become better, well, better Rabbi people. North, good luck with the fast, good luck in improving and on reflection. And I hope everybody takes a moment to reflect, just like you said, uh, even in a non-religious way. I think that's a really great thing. And thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Right. Should have sort of what.